Today I'm going to show you how I set up a simple TwinSafe project. My target is a CX5140. I'm going to scan the network. I only need device 1 to the right of the controller. Scan for boxes. No need to activate free run at this point. Behind the EK1200, I have my safety controller, the EL6910. I then have an EK1100 with my safety I.O., EL1904 and EL2904. Rather than create a PLC, I'm just going to create a task with an image. This is going to allow me to create some I.O. that I'll use to interact with the safety project. I'll create a run bit and an error acknowledgement. Now I'm going to create a safety project. Under Safety, Add New Item, choose TwinCat Safety Project Preconfigured Inputs. This is going to give me alias devices for the run and the error acknowledge bits, so I don't have to make them later. Name the project My First Safety Project. The TwinCat 3 Safety Wizard is going to automatically choose Graphical Editor and Hardware Safety PLC. Under my project, first we'll choose the target system. We're using an EL6910. Choose the physical device from the I.O. tree. The safety address automatically loads, and I'm going to push that to my project. Good practice is to take over safety alias device names and standard alias device names. These are the variables that are going to appear under the I.O. tree, and rather than just having numbers, they'll actually get a name. Alias devices are how TwinSafe interacts with the outside world. The first two that we see here are error acknowledge and run bits that we're going to use to connect to the task that we created earlier. This really means that the rest of TwinCat can still interact with what's going on in the safety project. Alias devices are also the TwinSafe hardware itself, and that's what I'm going to show you next. Import alias devices from I.O. configuration and choose the EL1904 and the EL2904. Under the EL1904, the FSOE address automatically loaded from the DIP switches on the device. I like to activate info data, map the state of the device, the diagnostics, the inputs, and the outputs. This makes it available to the standard PLC program. Under safety parameters, these are all the options that are available for this particular card. And finally, here's the process image. Under the EL2904, the output card, the FSOE address loaded. I'm going to activate the input data. The safety parameters are available here. And the process image. Now I'm going to open up the safety application language worksheet. It's the programming environment. Under toolbox, I'm going to drop in a simple e-stop. I'm going to create variables for restart. I'm going to imagine that my e-stop has two contacts, so e-stop 1 underscore 1 and e-stop 1 underscore 2. And I'm going to give my safety function an output. Now I'm going to map those variables to physical locations on the hardware. The restart is going to be input 3 on the EL1904, and the e-stop is connected to channel 1 and channel 2 of the EL1904. The e-stop output is going to be connected to channel 1 of the EL2904. Each one of the ports has settings that you can change specific to your application. In this case, since I'm using a two-channel e-stop, I want to change it to two-channel. Now we can identify discrepancy between the two channels. Validate the project. Validate the hardware. 
And now I'm going to do a multi-download. Type in the username and password. Click verify and next. Now save early, save often, and activate the configuration. Put TwinCat into run. Now turn on the sunglasses so we can monitor our safety code. We need to activate the run bit. We're now in run. If we press the restart button, the e-stop becomes good. Hit the e-stop, and we go false. If you enjoyed this quick introduction, make sure to check out the TwinSafe module at learn.beckoffus.com. I'll put the link in the video description below.